After viewing and reviewing the Daniel LaRusso trilogy of Karate Kid movies, it's time to Netflix and binge this bitch. I have piecemealed some of what goes on from YouTube clips back when, uh, little episode, uh, I, I think it actually is, like, episode one and two from the first season is, like, for free, and then you gotta do, like, a premium. Uh, there was a time when they did the second season all for free, and I watched that, and I was like, ooh. That's how this whole thing began. I was like, oh, God, I need season three now. <laughs> so, uh, came back, Netflix and chilled. So, here's my review of the first half of Cobra Kai season one. It's degenerate. Like the movies, it does the Rocky retelling, but this time with a scoreboard, Johnny 2 and 0 before the. Actually, no, Daniel 2 and 0 before the sweep the leg talk from Chris and then he ties it up. Crane kick right into the new stuff. It's been over 30 years since the 84 All Valley. Man, I think I got too used to Cobra Kai Johnny. He looks old and unshaven, but not in an unattractive way. He's living probably in a worse hole than the Rosita apartments. And then I take a look, I'm like, you know what? It probably is the Rosita apartments. <laughs> that place was a dump back then. He blows off new character Miguel with his non-PC way of just calling him an immigrant menudo. New drinking game for that. Johnny on the outs, living in the 80s with his red car and blasting poison as he spots an ad for a LaRusso Auto. I wonder if that's how Daniel got Miyagi's old pickup truck back from the third movie. Johnny working odd jobs as a gated community handyman. One instance of installing a flat screen and being sacked from that. Yo, no, 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 I didn't call her a bitch. I, I said she was bitching at me. There's a difference. You're firing me because that bitch. <laughs> Episode one, I'm like, okay. Uh, so now Johnny needs money in another way. Runs to Miguel again while getting some gas station or small business shop reheated pizza. Zero respect. Even for Miguel getting shoved around for accidentally outing some guys who were just buying beers with fake IDs or something like that. Maybe you recognize the guy from school and just like, start shoving him around. One of them shoves him into Johnny's car and that's when Johnny like, hey. Time to finally step in and Miguel gets to witness Cobra Kai style Miyagi saving. I say Cobra Kai style because oh so no cops getting involved. <laughs> Keep hearing all these complaints 30 years ago about some little Asian dude <laughs> jacking people. To be fair, that place is pretty public, like a sh uh, strip mall as opposed to, you know, outs. I'm trying to think where it was. I was like after, like maybe even the school from the first movie. I'm, I'm not sure where uh, Daniel ran to for that one. And then it was Sato probably, Sato Chosen probably owns all of that Okinawa stuff anyway. And then the third was, um, the shops and stuff like that. Once again, they were probably on the take from Silver to just harass them as on site. So yeah, police pepper spray Johnny down and he gets released in the morning. Miguel thanks him back at the apartments and tries to get Johnny to, could you teach me karate? Maybe you could open a dojo or something like that. And Johnny's like, I got time for that. I gotta find, gotta find a job. Hello, I'm Ed Asner. <laughs> Snicked. Ah, uh, is this deadbeat uh, stepfather's Sid? He's the one who bailed Johnny out. Johnny's a dad as well. He's got a kid named Robbie who he hasn't seen in forever. Asner tries to give Johnny money. Tired of, you know, I'm tired of looking after you. I don't want to, quote, buy him out. Johnny says, I'd rather be homeless and take your charity. Storms off in his car after the... TV hits him with some inspiration before his remote stops working with another LaRusso Auto ad. Free bonsai tree for every car purchased. Love the soundtrack. Flashbacks to getting crane kicked in the face to the tune of Head Games. Not being very safe driving while intoxicated. But again, he's probably done this so much he probably has to uh, scarily develop some sort of tolerance to it. Or, or so you think. You know, he's revisiting his past, like, oh, the girl that got away. That, that because of Miyagi, he got away from Kreese's chokehold. Like, literally at the scene outside of the All-Valley Tournament building's parking lot. And that's the uh, instance for his car to get, wham, hit and run. He's yelling that the girl's in the car responsible to peel off. And now his car gets towed to, wouldn't you guess it, LaRusso Auto. He arrives and's like, yeah, can you move my car to a, a different tow area? And boom, bam, Daniel LaRusso looking like a totally different person. 
reminiscing about the tournament. Even wants to fix it for free, letting his guys take a look at a... It'll be good for my guys to take a look at something as classic as a Pontiac Firebird. Turns out one of the girls in that little hit and run is Daniel's daughter. So this coupled with the handout, the bonsai, and that's enough for Johnny to just get fed up, toss that away, and and runs right into Miguel said, I'm going to get that dojo up and running. I'm going to teach you how to be badass, something your pussy generation needs. And when the time's ready, you'll strike back. Actually, you're going to strike first because that's the name of Season 1, Episode 2. Yeah, we saw how Johnny be living. Now we get to see the other end. The fancy house of LaRusso. Wife, daughter, son. Best auto prizes in town. We kick the competition. His sunny disposition goes six feet under with the uh, Frank Sinatra Ain't That a Kick in the Head song being little as he eyes the new sign of the Cobra Kai Dojo. Training begins and we get our first of many. Quiet! From... <laughs> There's no as more peanut allergies in this dojo. Just throws this in here. <laughs> well, I guess there isn't. Like, he got over that pretty fast. I, I don't know anything about, uh... Yeah, Hasbro, I feel like it's pretty serious. I've, I've, I don't have it. I've only seen it. So, but, um... But, yeah, he's all strike first. In karate. In life. Be aggressive. Johnny's so caveman, he didn't even know he had to pass health inspections to get the permit to open this dojo fully. So, oh, I need more money now. Elsewhere at Encino Oaks Country Club. Yeah, they're bringing them all back. Danny can't fool the Mrs. Amanda that nothing's wrong. Tells her about the uh, Cobra Kai dojo in the strip mall. Or tries to before Spoiled Son interrupts. I'm not the woman in the goddamn pool. <laughs> yeah, getting a little more liberties. We're getting a little more TV14 with it. <laughs> oh, I think it's just like an F-bomb a little bit later. Once or twice. So Miguel's spending all his time fixing up this dojo. Already lying to his mom over the phone, telling him, Oh, I'm, I'm on debate because she does not approve of violence. No dad in the picture. The Russos later arrive back from the dinner party. They had to see that their daughter has thrown a surprise pool party. Without knowing that, without them knowing to kick everybody out. Some guy and his daughter, Ayusha, was at the party, was wondering, Where'd she go? And Miss LaRusso, Amanda, all rich clique, lies about her being at Grandma's when she was... Actually, with her cool non-space camp friends. Things resolve for that kind of, sort of, full house-ish. Danny Tanner LaRusso, <laughs> I call him. It's like, all right, let me get to meet this guy, this, uh, this Kyler, who was the head of the bullies that jumped Miguel. He's got an uh, interest in, uh, LaRusso's daughter, Sam. You know, he did, over dinner, they met the, they see the shiner that he's got. He's like, how'd you catch that one? And he tells him about the, uh, well, revisionist history is already striking. He's like, oh, this, this this guy just jumped us. But yeah, they go to the same school, as does Miguel, getting to meet the painfully annoying at times Dimitri and his less verbose friend, Eli. Miguel decide, oh, I'm gonna strike first and talk up Sam LaRusso. Kyle and his cronies interrupt this and talk to the girls, so that forces Miguel to, yeah, I'm gonna think twice on that one. So it's time for more training. The Cobra Strike. Johnny teaching Miguel. Uh, there's uh, like there's this dummy. You're gonna punch like you're trying to go through the recipient, as if you want to punch the person behind them. Punch through whole body. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing. So yeah, already getting a lot of uh, different but same. Before the training can continue, Johnny gets a phone call from a school vice principal about his son Robbie Keen. Mom's out. Um, the mom is not answering, but, yeah, he, he was caught with Molly, and Johnny's like, who's Molly? Some girl he shacked up with? It's an illegal drug, Mr. Lawrence. Now, I sympathize with Johnny. I did not know Molly either until I looked it up. I'm like, holy shit! Ecstasy? I know it's Callie, but how the hell did he get that? Rob is all, meh, whatever, blows off his dad. Back to training has Miguel visualize Kyler. Now he's punching like a Cobra guy. Later that night, Miguel, washing windows, asks, Hey, you want this done in any special way? Johnny's all, nah, I don't care. Whatever's fastest. <laughs> Daniel shows up to, Hey, what happened about the, what's 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 the deal with the attack? And Johnny gives him, like, the whole story. Rose is like, you know, you need to keep away from my daughter's friends. Oh, your daughter's friends. Yeah, nice company she keeps. Those friends are wailing on a kid half their size. 
Maybe you don't know your daughter as well as you think you do. Keep your house in order, LaRusso. Episode 3, Esqueleto. Or Skeleton, as I would look later in, uh, in Spanish. There'd be a couple, there's going to be a couple episodes like this. Get a little bit more into uh, Miguel's life now, with uh, living with mom and grandma, trying to decide on a Halloween costume for a, a school dance while Johnny struggles to find more students to keep his dojo running. Daniel is already kind of second-guessing this Kyler. His auto dealer friends, uh, Amush and Doofus cousin Louie. No help with their advice. We get a school counselor or whatever having a talk over a microphone during uh, lunch. They're all in the cafeteria. It's like, your safe spaces and gender neutrality. This does nothing to stop the girls pulling Ayusha over the phone. Little nasty text. Who's still trying to befriend Sam? Old school advertisements of flyers and having, uh... There was an old homeless woman that Johnny met in episode one. He's like, hey, you want to make some money? Do the... Spin this sign around. Didn't work... Doesn't work out. <laughs> While Daniel takes the very bad advice of Cousin Louie and, uh... Spies on his daughter with the, uh... He's like, you get the password, look through all her, like, text and stuff like that so you can keep, uh, keep an eye on things. As he chaperones the school dance, sees a message that, quote, Kyler wants to give her something big. Wifey nearly catching him in the act on the computer. is like, eh, the, 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 the Wi-Fi. And meanwhile, while Johnny's plan failed, Miguel has a... Oh, here's this Cobra Kai webpage I got up and running. Also, his ringtones changed to uh, rats round and round. It's like, you know, I, I saw this, and then, and then I went on, like, this 80s rabbit hole. And Johnny's like, oh, okay. All right. This reinvigorates Johnny to give him more training. Ties up Miguel's hands at the school pool and boots him into the swimming pool. He's like... Pushing him to use his legs to kick up and stay afloat. Get his kicking on. Finds out uh, later after he, after they cut and run. After <laughs> you're, you're not supposed to be here. Oh shit, we gotta go. <laughs> he has a grandma mood costume. It's like it was supposed to be Deadpool and then this and blah blah blah. Johnny's like, nah, you ain't going to, you ain't going to no school dance like that. You gotta be badass. You gotta make an impression, especially if we're gonna cr recruit students at the school. So you show up looking like uh. Hmm. <laughs> Esqueleto. He's actually in. He's actually dressed up like uh, Johnny's outfit in the old Karate Kid one movie. I'm like, oh wow. There's probably a shot to take every time Caveman Johnny says a thing. <laughs> How you doing, fellow kids? <laughs> Check this website out. www. period Cobra Kai period c o m all lowercase. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I think I found somebody in the world that's more caveman with uh, electronics than I am. Hell, only just a year ago I figured out, like, oh, if I do it like this, you can turn, like, a images like JPEGs, and that's how I did with some of these images here. It's like, oh, they're WebPs. I gotta do, like, a dot .jpg. If you didn't know that, I think I might have just helped you guys out. So, yeah, take that for free. Sam trying to make plans with Ayusha gets back in by her new friends. And see, Daniel seeing uh, the Megaleton, if you will. <laughs> He's starting to get like the PST flashbacks of movie one and three. He's like, oh man. I'm like, you think you got it now? Just wait. Goes to follow him. He's like, what the hell's going on with this? Runs into Johnny hanging flyers, wondering why. Why do you want to bring back Cobra Kai after what Kreese did? Johnny says, because I'm not Kreese. The lessons work. Strike first, no mercy. Daniel's not having it while he tries to. Follow Sam and Kyler. Embarrasses her by showing up as Kyler wanted to give her some trinket or necklace he had in his pocket. So, of course, Sam is furious, wants to go home. Just in time to watch her friend, Cyberbully Aisha. The whole school gets this photo with some nasty message. Like just her eating cheese curls or something. And I'm just like, mm. Miguel, in the meantime, with Dimitri and Eli, they strike out not even getting the chance to talk to some girls. They overhear Kyler apparently having... More than one trinket slash girl. It's this whole um, this whole bullshit like scam just to get in to get in girls' pants. So Daniel was right all along about Kyler. So it's like, come on, we gotta get out of here. Eli knocks something over and they bail on Miguel, who with his training gets a kick on Kyler in the ribs, but uh, he's still in training and it's a four on one, so that goes south quick. Johnny, while eyeing a old photo of high school alley, sees Kyler and crew leave a beaten Miguel in the locker room. Season 1, Episode 4, Cobra Kai Never Dies. It opens with Robbie. Okay, we're getting a little 
each episode given a little bit of every, uh... Yeah, we still don't know much about, uh, Robbie Keane. He's posing as this tech guy fixing some guy's laptop. Yink! Angry at a poster of Cobra Kai. Yo, quote, it's my fucking dad. And Robbie Keane, I think it's the first F-bomb of the series. Johnny batter down and out having to... Oh, I gotta... That's... Miguel's been jumped by these four guys. He's battered. I gotta take him back. Mom's rightfully pissed off. He's lost his only student. And Johnny with Miguel spots a ta uh, tagger, decides, Hey, you want to share my beard cans for your spray cans? Daniel having zero luck with a still very upset Sam after the dance. On his way to work, gets told by wifey, Brace yourself for the billboard. Oh, the Tom Cole thing? Not that billboard. How did Drunk as Johnny get that high up to paint a very clear penis and testicles on the LaRusso auto ad? I'm t like, if, if I knew, like, I don't know. It's it's Daniel LaRusso and he's got a vibe, but I'm, I'm like, how the hell did he do that anyway? I, I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be impressed. So a mother's love versus a son's determination. It's like, I want to learn more karate. Grandma in, in uh, Espinal, super supportive of Miguel's new hobby. You know, he found something he likes, you know, but you gotta, you need more practice. Keep up the hands, and uh, thank you Netflix subtitle option. I personally wouldn't have gotten uh, any of that, and I have not spoken Spanish myself in over half a lifetime ago. And that language often gets spoke like it's a fucking speed run, let me tell you. <laughs> I, I fuck up speaking in my language, English. Ugh. So, of course, Miguel defiantly looks to meet with Johnny to at least try to help with the dojo. Johnny says, Ain't no dojo. He got another call from the vice principal saying, uh, Robbie lied about this boating trip with Daddy. He hasn't been in school for a whole month. One more week, they're going to hold him back. So now his focus is... Aisha, in the meantime, has gone viral. The whole school bullying her now. Any f possible, like, re... Like, reunion, friendship, whatever, between her and Sam is dead in the water. I mentioned Tom Cole. We get this, uh, yeah, he's the rival deal car dealer. Him sending LaRusso this huge order of sausages, it makes Daniel think, like, oh, it's him that did it. Okay. Like, he's behind the... Johnny shows up to Robbie all pissed in the meanwhile. You know, his mom, an ex-girlfriend of Shannon, is, you know... You know, she's cool with me not going to school, so yeah, how about you piss off too? Sam actually spots Kyler picking on Miguel and his friends. Miguel gets surprised by Mom to pick him up and take him straight to the movies, but he's, he's he just wants to go home. He's done. Meanwhile, LaRusso eyeing the kind of jingoist and not subtle mockery of LaRusso's ad. You know, all the, the 1776 American colors talking about we're fighting the hated British, and I'll see you. A re I'll sell you a reliable tiny cactus, Marica type of shit. Devil his do a cactus. I think would fare better in a state of perpetual sun and fire in California than a bonsai tree. Even going so far in his ad to say Daniel's a uh, to imply that yeah, water wasting. Which again, I looked this on TV shows. I'm like, mm, okay, yeah, I can see that ad tracking and getting like, yeah, yeah, you know what? But they're baby trees. They don't need that much water. I think I don't know. I'm not a plant guy. I'm pretty sure Cactus needs little to no water. So after getting blown off by Robbie, Johnny tries, uh, Shannon. Talk to her at some dive bar, and she lays in him saying, you know, I can't make Robbie do anything anymore. No point in you trying. Like, you bailed on day one. I at least was there when he got mono and broke his wrist on a makeshift half pipe. It's too late. Daniel decides to go to the direction, the, at the source, Cole's auto. Cole with his boba tea. Gets all tee hee with Daniel in his karate. We're like, whoa. Oh, yeah. His competition and an ass. And then Daniel just spin kicks the bejesus out of his popa. And I'm... <laughs> the whole time I'm thinking of the vine, Tom didn't invite Jerome to the tea party. <laughs> Fuck your tea! <laughs> Sam is at the movies with Kyler like they agreed to, but she is not taking it. She's like, I saw what you did. And her revealing that is somehow Kyler's invitation to try to get handsy? Like father, like daughter, shuts that down completely. A little bit of a uh, defense karate. Strong defense. Kicking ass when the sitch calls for it. Johnny is back to uh, 
like this is really good camera work here. Is like he's like, uh, I know I screwed up and everything, and I'm, and then you get to the part where it's like, he's the only one who hasn't given up on me. So it's like, oh, he's not talking about Robbie. He's talking about Miguel. And then boom, there she is, uh, Carmen, Miguel's mother. Sam, in the meanwhile, has not given up on Dad either. Tells him, yeah, I don't think Kyler's gonna be around no more. Miguel's got permission to train at the dojo. Russo's billboard's all fixed. These two partners of motion. Cousin Louie find... Oh, here's what we found up here while we were taking care of that painting on cock and balls. All these Cobra Kai posters. See, now LaRusso came in thinking Tom Cole also did that, but no, now Louie's like, Oh, this guy's disrespected on him. Gotta do something. Season 1, Episode 5, Counterbalance. Starting to get a little bit longer in runtime in this episode. Johnny taking Miguel's training up as he had to... Oh, I had to sublet a few hours for these yoga instructors. I imagine Johnny would be all, what the hell is namaste? <laughs> namaste, is that like a peanut spread or something? <laughs> what the hell is namaste? <laughs> Greetings day, namaste, fuck you. <laughs> oh, another fancy LaRusso din dinner. Daniel this time talking with, uh, talking shop and business with this Armand Zarkarian. I thought, was, I thought it was Zarkarian. Zarkarian. We made our way to riches, not inherited from mom and dad. We're the self-made guys. Sam's friends blew her off to hang at some concert. So, like, mm, might not be friends with them anymore. Dan was like, you know, I want first cracked at this new land in Reseda and this, this strip mall, and I'll, I'll get you back into the country club. Armand only really owns the strip mall in that new Cobra Kai dojo sits. Devious Daniel asks, you know, you ever thought about selling? Robbie comes home getting pizzas for his mom. She's heading out for another date, mentions. Oh, Johnny came by to try and be a dad again, to, probably to get out of child support, but whatever. But yeah, she'll leave Robbie all by himself. While she goes has, while she goes off with her cool new friends. A lot of that. <laughs> a lot of cool new friends. Aisha enters the Cobra Kai dojo. Johnny's all, you know, no girls allowed. And the girl's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Her dad's a former Chargers lineman. He's loaded. But also to help a fellow student from getting harassed. She mentions she's been getting these anonymous phone messages. And Johnny's all, what a bunch of pussies. You wanted to tell someone back in the day you did it face to face. Once again, siding with Johnny. <laughs> there was a time when bullying was bullying. There was at least a face to punch back in the day is all I'm saying. Even if you couldn't really do it, it wasn't all armchair alphas as I like to refer to them to. Just sitting at a computer typing shit out. Anyway, Armand's thinking Daniel's... Oh, you're kind of show dude for trying to focus on this little tiny strip mall in Rosita. What do you want with that? It's a dump. No deal. Sam's no longer cool new friends have been told a lie from Kyler saying she... Oh, she thought she was better than them and all sorts of other nasty stuff like... Oh, I know what you did at the movie theater. I'm like, ooh. Bitch, I'm done with y'all. So things going bad for Sam. I usually performing really well in the dojo. Johnny tells Miguel, full on attack. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I should like dad when Miguel tries to help her up. Boom, tackled into the midsection. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Johnny's all, oh, she's a natural cobra. Only to be interrupted by yelling next door. It's the, the, the guy that he got the pizza from. Armand shows up, you know. He's raised rent on the whole strip mall. So I guess Daniel did make good on the... Dan meets with Johnny, kind of gloating over the double rent thing. He's like, oh, can I get a, can I get some, uh, what was it, red spray, red spray can? Getting some payback for the billboard, but also not realizing he's really kicking a man when he's down. Wifey Amanda hears about this, and she is not happy. You know, the dance, the kick to the boba tea, and now this convoluted plot to wreck the strip mall just to get back at one dojo. At school, Sam confronts Kyler for the lies. Now, Sam's getting bullied a bit. You know, public opinion gets swayed easily. Miguel tells him off, and this time is ready for the four-on-one. Boots all of their asses. Grandma got the call from the school about the fight. I'm like, oh, I'm so proud of you. He earned Johnny's old white gig back when he was training in 81. Robbie, who left because Shannon took her boyfriend home for a snooze-snooze. Like, oh, maybe I can find Johnny at this dojo. He's opened up. 
But he mistakes that for like, oh, he's moved on. He's with Miguel now. He's like, mm. so he bails. Daniel tearfully visits the grave of Miyagi. I feel like I don't have all you, the answers. Lately, I've let my anger take control. Gets flashback to the first movie about balance, not just karate, balances all things in life. Johnny arrives to see uh, a whole slew of new kids that all saw the fight Miguel had. And one on their phones is like, oh, yeah, he went viral. Meanwhile, Daniel unpacks and starts to build his Miyagi dojo as Robbie finds work at the LaRusso dealership. Dun, dun, dun. Doesn't get to meet Daniel yet as he's in the gi doing the kata from the third movie. Thus ends the first half of season one. Who's the best character in so far? Miguel. Literally kicked Asma's ass before he got what it took to kick Kyler's ass. Numbers game wins. And it not only did it bring Miguel respect, it all but saved Cobra Kai's dojo. He didn't give up on Johnny, so he responds, the lessons do indeed work. Johnny with the assist, but I gotta say Miguel got the glow up and show up. Uh, worst character. I can't say Kyler and Yasmin. Yeah, she's the main blonde plastic girl, the cool new friend. Uh, Yasmin and uh, more granola girl Moon. You know, I was gonna have your queen biatch in these. Haven't gotten the full insufferableness of Dimitri just yet. I'm just warning you ahead of time. Uh, you want insufferable? I, I think Daniel can get in on this. It's finally painting him as kind of the villain. Like his total disregard for any collateral damage just to get one rid of one dojo. The word gets out that he engineered Armand to put the squeeze on the strip mall? Yeah, those, uh... Cobra Kai truthers, the Daniel's the real bully. You eating real good. (laughs) Save room for seconds, because the second half of... We ain't done yet. This is your appetizer right now. Save room. Now for power on, the best moment. I think overall, it's just leaning on the differences and similarities to how Miyagi-Do and Cobra Kai karate is. Like, the punching with your whole body thing. The... Twist to the side as you yeah. The building blocks of karate start off the same and then branch off. Daniel with the gi at the end of episode five was pretty pretty cool to see again. It's like I'm gonna get balance, even if that balance is to outdo Cobra Kai. It's like mm. power off is Shannon trying to protect Robbie from Johnny, but she's no bed of roses, no pleasure cruise herself. Just real hypocritical behavior in general. Not entirely unfounded, but. Otherwise, she'd be in the worst with uh, Daniel. But that that whole, like, trying to... Egregious! All over a billboard. I'm like, damn. Makes me think, what would have happened if Tom Cole was the one who did it? I think it's where the spin kick come from. Because he didn't find out till after that happened. So now he probably had to, like, maybe kind of give an apology to Tom Cole. Although he's not with an... He did send him sausages and the whole boba tea and the ad thing. So probably not. So join me next time for another five episodes as they close out season one. Until next time, take care! And damn it, now I want boba. All those little tapioca thingies. Boba.